I grew up on the island of Hios uh, in the Aegean, uh, otherwise uh, known in antiquity as the island where Homer was. And at night, you could actually see the Milky Way very, very clearly. We would sit around and wonder about what was out there. The young people used to make homemade rockets. And on Easter night, we would fire them. And it was a spectacular event. Uh, you see hundreds of these things going across the sky. And sometimes you had to duck because the, uh, there was a rocket coming in from the other side. When I was born, my father was absent and the war intervened. Greece was occupied, so I, uh, he couldn't come back. I met him at the age of 16. It was a tough life, but my mother had to be both father and mother. <laughs> and she uh, motivated me fairly strongly to do well in school. Soon after we started school at the University of Minnesota, Sputnik went up. He said, wow, you know, that that time, uh, that was a big shock. And there was a certain degree of panic uh, about this sphere that was going overhead and nobody could do anything about it. When I arrived in Iowa City in uh, September of 61, it was an incredible atmosphere in terms of uh, the anticipation of discovery. It was still in, very early in the space program. And you wanted to discover something yourself. So Van Allen gave me a, a job to analyze some data from a satellite called Injun-1 right as soon as I got there, and within a year and a half, I finished my master's. And he called me into his office and he says, how would you like to build a detector that can separate electrons from protons for the first US mission to Mars? I said, I don't think I know how to do that. Oh, he said, you will learn. Then coming to a place uh, like this at APL that has terrific capabilities, uh, it was an exciting time. I have been involved in uh, many projects, starting with uh, Mariner 3 and 4, Mariner 5, uh, Engine 4, Engine 5, Explorer 33, Explorer 35, uh, Voyager 1 and 2, Galileo, Ulysses, uh, Cassini, um, New Horizons, Messenger, uh, I, I mentioned the, or the contour, near to have instruments that have gone to all eight planets and uh, also one on New Horizons that's now going to Pluto. It's a uh, it, it, it shows how one can be very lucky in life. My wife is a wonderful woman and she has supported me over the years uh, exceptionally well in all the things that I have wanted to do. Being a father gives one a wonderful feeling of uh, uh, excitement and, and uh, also recognizing that, that you have the sole responsibility more or less on shaping the lives and personalities of your children. Grandchildren is a pride and joy, and uh, they are very uh, original in their thinking. Uh, my grandson said to me one day, how come you don't like your house? I said, who told you I don't like my house? He says, but you, you're gone all the time. <laughs> if I could go anywhere in the solar system, I would probably go to uh, Europa, and sit on the ice and look at the majesty of the planet, Jupiter, and uh, the volcanoes of Iowa in the distance. Exploring space is the frontier for this uh, century and this generation. In terms of challenging our imaginations and trying to answer the fundamental questions of are we alone and how did life evolve? There's no other way to address those. And uh, if it is abundant, it will be a terrific mistake in my judgment for, for the United States and, and for the world. I feel exceptionally lucky that I was born in an era where uh, humanity was ready to, to move into space 
and then be one of the passengers in that whole adventure. Uh, so that's my dream, that humanity will cease to be uh, a center of antagonisms for nations and peoples and races, and that uh, we're all stay together and build together to a sustainable future. This is a spaceship we are passengers of, and we absolutely need to preserve it.